Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. My name is Dion, and today I'm going to be talking about learning Forex, how I learned to trade, uh, what to avoid, what's a good way to go through things. I've pretty much been learning for over a year now, and I've had my ups and downs. I've tried out many different courses, I've tried out uh, learning from different YouTube channels, I've done the lot and to save you guys some time if you're learning how to trade because you know with the whole crypto boom at the moment I feel like a lot of people are trying to jump into the game right now so uh, here's a little video to help you guys out you know maybe yeah like hopefully I can save you guys some time from making uh, mistakes I've made a whole bunch myself so hopefully this can help you out so to keep it real nice and simple, it comes down to two things. It comes down to learning new content through whatever platform you decide to learn on, either that be YouTube, people's courses, or whatever, and journaling. So those two things are the main components of how I learned how to trade. I'm not saying that I'm a professional or whatever, I feel like I can trade alright, um, and those are the two things I use to help me trade. So. Mostly I used YouTube and I went from different trading channels. I hopped around tried to learn as many things as I could So yeah, I did learn a whole bunch and I pretty much Picked and chose what would work well for me put my own little twist on it or whatever Anyways with the videos on YouTube courses the good thing about those is that they give you an introduction uh, into what there is to learn. They teach you all about you know, technical analysis, what's uh, fundamental analysis, the different tools which you can use to help you uh, figure shit out on the charts. They, they pretty much show you what you don't already know, but it comes to a point where you learn pretty much as, m as much as you can or all that there is um, with the basics, the technicals, because it's not like, that's not the part that keeps you sort of learning forever every day. Um, there's only so much that you can learn with your technicals and the stuff that these courses have to offer So I feel like if you're fresh, you're new new uh, Go on to some you go on to just watch YouTube videos buy a course or whatever now This is where I'm gonna help you guys out because I've seen a whole bunch of different YouTube channels I know what works and what doesn't for me anyways so straight off the bat, there's a channel called uh, swaggy C so swaggy C um, I pretty much learn right from the start, like when I first started, I used a few of his videos, then I moved around to other people's videos, but I always found myself coming back to Swaggy. So first of all, his trading style is something that I really liked. I like to trade how he traded. Uh, second of all, his content is genuinely very entertaining. It's great stuff. You don't get bored of it. You can sit there and just binge watch his videos and learn so much from it. Three, he's got an entire range of like difficulties you could say. He teaches you, like if you're just a, a beginner, if you have no idea what you're doing, he has content for you. If you have learned all the basics and you're trying to learn how to put things together, he has videos for you. If you're getting to the point where now you're done with the technicals and you need help with your psychology, um, your other, the other parts of training, he's got that covered. So the thing with trading videos, courses, this and that, they only can teach you up to a certain point, right? Um, there's so much book learning that you can do. It gets to this point where you need to start, uh, you know, it's more so the experience and stuff, like the journaling, and that I'll get into that after. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. There's no one Forex course or crypto course or whatever that's going to teach you everything, and once you learn it, it's all good. They're, I mean, they can teach you all the basics, but after that, it's up to you to sort of refi refine it, uh, make it work better, make it suit you a little bit better, you put your own twist on it. That's where the real growth happens, in my opinion. So next up, there's a channel called Astro FX. Now, they're not exactly a channel designed for teaching, but they do have some very educational videos. So they have a little series called Technical Tuesdays. Actually, it's not a little series at all. It's actually over 50 videos long, I'm pretty sure. And that's when Sean and Nat, uh, the owners and like the founders of AstroFX, they go into the markets, they give their own analysis, pretty much what I do with my weekly forecasts and reviews. It's, the, it's a pretty similar concept, but with their knowledge, their expertise, their experience, all, you know, just put into videos every single week, that many videos, that stuff is really good to learn from. But the only downside is they are a little bit more advanced. So although what they're saying may make sense, there's a lot that won't actually click for you because you're not at that stage yet. Um, that's just how I felt anyways. But yeah, I would say they're more intermediate to advanced learning. 
And then there's another channel which is great. Um, her channel is very similar to mine. Her name is Hannah FX. And yeah, I will link all of these uh, channels in the description. Hannah FX sort of teaches, uh, or what she doesn't teach, but she just gives you a very good general insight into the journey of forex trading, similar to what I do. Okay, and that leads us on to me. Would I recommend my channel for you guys to learn? Well, yes and no. First of all, I'm not a teacher and the purpose of this channel is not to teach or educate. But that being said, the content which I do produce, you get to see all the ins and outs of my learning process. So you get to see uh, what I'm actually doing, the techniques which I'm utilizing, uh, different strategies which I'm using to sort of gain an edge on certain things. So although I'm not teaching, directly, I'm not showing you how to do anything, you get to see how I'm doing things and you get to hear about all my experiences, my mistakes. So in a sense, you can learn from that and I feel like that is the most important part of the channel. Uh, the, the real, the, the actual journey itself, not just learning the content, but the, the entire journey, um, I think that's the most important part of it and that's what you can learn the most from. For example, like how I deal with the ups and downs, or if I really want to try and refine a certain skill, how do I go about doing that? How, where do I put my focus when I'm trying to learn something specific? That sort of stuff. I'm not gonna be teaching you how to use Fibonacci retracements. I'm not gonna teach you how to find key levels. You can find all that stuff somewhere else, mostly in the channels I just talked about. So as I mentioned earlier, with trading, you can only get so far, like you can only get up to here by using courses, material, online videos, that sort of stuff. After that, once you've learned all the technicals, it's time for you to put it to practice uh, and figure yourself out, yourself as a trader. I feel like becoming a trader, an investor or whatever, it's actually like a personal, uh, it's like a pers personal journey or personal path or something because not everyone's gonna jump in and trade the same, even after learning from the exact same course. And I feel like the way that you will trade directly reflects on the kind of person you are. So if you wanna trade well, you need to find out what works best with you. Um, and how do you know what works best with you if you don't really understand yourself? So that leads me to the next point. Um, you Before you start moving on and trying to uh, get a whole bunch of experience in different things, which don't get me wrong, that's a good thing. Experience everything, different trading styles, this and that. But try and figure out who you are as a person in the sense of, okay, would I prefer to be in trades for a longer time or do I wanna be in and out during the same day? How much risk do I like to use? Do I, would I prefer um, dump my entire risk into one position? Would I rather dollar cost average it, like split it across multiple positions? Uh, just all these little questions because the thing is, if you're someone who's really like, you wanna be in and out of trades, you love the action, you, you do the high risk, catch a small amount of pips or make the gains, uh, like a scalper for example, um, you're not going to do well as a swing trader because that's just not what fits your personality. Um, and yeah, you, you, it's just not gonna work. So figure out what kind of trader or what kind of person you are. Now for me, I sort of discovered myself my personality through trading. I didn't exactly know what type of uh, person I was or whatever, as cliche as that might, might sound, but Forex helped me discover myself. So how I did that was by trading everything. I traded different strategies, I traded different time frames, um, I took a whole bunch of different courses here and there, and then I realized what worked for me, and I found these connections between my trading habits and my real life habits, and I drew that those lines together, and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this is actually what kind of person I am because if I wasn't, I, my natural personality or natural behavior wouldn't be like this on the charts. It would be slightly different. So yeah, it's really good to know about yourself. Now, something else that really helps with this is the journaling, which I mentioned before. Journaling isn't just about talking about how you feel, this and that. For me, my journaling is, okay, I'm taking a trade and first of all, uh, why am I taking this trade? What did I see in this trade? What are my confluences? Just as much detail as I can fit about the trade. Also, then I talk about how I feel. What are my emotions like? This and that. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't do this as much anymore. I definitely should though because that's the... In my opinion, when you've learned all the basics and this and that, the constant journaling, analyzing, tweaking, uh, and just that sort of stuff, that's what's really going to help you improve. I needed to be doing more of that, so note to self. 
But pretty much, if you just journal about your trades, you know, why are you taking this trade? How do you feel when you're taking it? And then after when the trade's done, if you profited or if you made a loss, just talk about how do you feel after that? Why do you think you lost out? And just keep going over your notes. Keep going over your journaling. That's sort of how I made a big uh, improvement in my trading. I was journaling like a maniac and going through it all the time. Journaling just helps you refine you as a trader pretty much. You, you start to find out, you find little patterns uh, within your own behavior, which you, you didn't really recognize because you know you weren't taking note of it But now that you're taking note of it, all these little details you go through it all you get to see certain behavior patterns that you know You can change a little bit and hopefully make it work for you Okay, last but not least here are some things which I believe you should avoid first of all anyone who is Okay, Instagram pages and TikTok. That's it. I'm just gonna say it out there nice and simple don't learn off Instagram don't learn off TikTok. So I'm on Instagram a lot, and because I follow some trading pages, I always get recommended uh, trading pictures or whatever. It's always on my feed, and sometimes I pay attention to them. Back then when I was learning, I tried to like take note of all of it and implement it into my trading, which didn't work. But what I did learn is that what you see mostly on social media, these pages are just trying to grow. And the best way for them to grow is they just post these shitty little uh, diagrams or whatever. Uh, just to explain like, oh, this is how simple it is when you see a triangle and it bounces here and it breaks out This is where you put your stop loss. This is your take profit. It's not that simple if it was anyone could just learn off these hundreds and hundreds of Instagram trading accounts because you know they have all these very simple diagrams which break down technical analysis so simple and so easy um, It's not that simple. It's not that easy and it's not always going to be handed to you like that Yes, there are situations where a, like a pattern may play out perfectly um, and it's good to learn how to take advantage of those times But it's not always like that So my friends have been showing me some TikTok videos and they're like, what do you think of this? Uh, is this guy capping? Is he talking truth? Is this what I should be doing? I myself don't have TikTok because I feel like it's cringe and I try to avoid it as much as I can I'm absolutely sick of it. I hate hearing about it but today I'm going to download TikTok I'm going through these videos and I'm going to react to them. So let's see what we can learn on TikTok today. Hey guys, so I was about to include a segment on this video about me reacting to uh, TikTok and Instagram videos, pictures, all this and that about trading. But there's quite a lot of trash content and I want to dedicate one entire video to me going through all this trash content and tearing these people to shreds. It's very cringy, borderline disgusting. It's horrible. I don't like, like TikTok is not a good place to learn. I just went through it. I'm going to make another video very, very soon where I react to these trash TikTok videos, these trash Instagram photos and advice and all this and that. So I'm going to close the video up here. I hope my video brought you guys some sort of value. I feel like there's a lot of people trying to teach, a lot of people trying to offer some sort of value, but it's very common and everyone says the same stuff. I want to try and offer something different, which is my personal experience, and hopefully you guys can learn something out of that. Because it's authentic. It's not like I'm trying to get more views so I have to make certain videos. All I'm doing is documenting my entire journey and I know that there is value in that documentation. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll have a few interesting videos coming up including the reaction ones, this and that. But for now, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video and I'll catch you in the next one.